Jonas Beerho is a trade union executive and black community activist. He's lost count of how many times he's been checked by inspectors on public transport. Finding an apartment was also difficult. When speaking on the telephone, people can't tell from my accent that I'm black, of course. But when I meet them in person to see if I can rent the apartment, I've heard statements ranging from coy to blatant that there are too many foreigners living in the house already. Bera is a German citizen, and so too is Karen Taylor, who was also active in Germany's black community. She's faced similar experiences to Bera's. I'm German, but that's not what people think. I believe that's the main problem for black people or people of colour living in Germany. I'm often asked where I come from, and people are really surprised at how good my German is. When I tell them I'm from Germany, that's still not enough for them. Then they ask me where my parents came from, and where my grandparents came from. How much racism do people with an African background face in Germany? That's the question the UN delegation has been asking on its one-week visit to Germany. Our camera team was not allowed to film at the delegation's meeting with representatives from Germany's black community. Their message is that racism is more widespread than thought. Racism is still treated as if it only happens at the margins of society, especially in extreme right-wing circles. But every study on the topic shows that it's happening at the heart of society. I believe that's a major problem where much work still needs to be done. Germany's black community is made up of artists, business people, scientists and students. But for many Germans, it's their skin colour that counts first. For the community, the big hope now is that the UN delegation will not just recognise that there is a racism problem in Germany, but that discrimination has finally ended there once and for all.